Hey, what's up guys? wanted to touch base and talk a little more in depth about the 4K release of Mission Impossible. First and foremost, they went with a different master for this 4K release, uh, which uh, is a good thing. They didn't go with the old tired Blu-ray version, which has specs of dirt debris show up and whatnot. And just overall, it just didn't do the film justice. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, we still don't get the Atmos track for this 4K release. However, close-up shots look amazingly sharp for this film on 4K. You can make out the fine details basically on all the characters' faces during close-ups. But there are certain portions of this film where you lose fine detail and it just becomes really soft, which honestly just looks like they uh, added a bit of DNR for some reason in certain portions. Not throughout the whole movie, just certain areas of the movie. And it does have a slight reddish push, which looks unnatural. Not throughout the whole film, but um, you can make it out in certain scenes like on Tom Cruise's face or on John Voight's face in certain scenes. But uh, for the most part, this looks amazingly well and it is an easy upgrade to uh, 4k but yeah that's the main reason why i'm giving it a uh, three and a half out of a five because it's not consistent but when it's sharp it's damn sharp you know what i'm saying this is what 4k is all about when you see the sharpness on this film that's what 4k is all about i just wish that sharpness was maintained throughout the whole film and the black lows look rather natural it's not overly deep but just the right balance to it and I know there was a lot of criticism for the 4K release of Forrest Gump. Personally, I liked how that film looked because I know the backstory behind it. For example, the uh, special effects shots in Forrest Gump was completed in 1K. So what they had to do is blend in the high resolution portions of the film with the low resolution 1K shots to match the look. Otherwise, it's going to look rather odd going from, you know, really sharp to really soft. So uh, that's why DNR was applied. Sure, you do lose a bit of fine detail and yeah, the colors could have been a bit more uh, better. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, it is shot on film. So no matter what you do, it's not going to be razor sharp because naturally there is a bit of uh, softness with uh, movies that are shot on film. And uh, yeah, other than that, uh, you know, some people are going to like that. Some people aren't. You just, you know, take it for what it's worth. But in terms of uh, Mission Impossible, like I said, the fine details look amazingly well. I just wish it was a bit more consistent. I wish they went a little more easy on the reddish push in certain scenes. But uh, yeah, other than that, it is a worthy upgrade over the old Blu-ray release. I'm sure some people watch Mission Impossible and absolutely love the picture quality and give it a 5 or a 4.5 or whatever the case may be. Yeah, I just wish we had the Atmos track for this. It would have been, you know, the perfect opportunity to get that going for this 4K release. But anyway, that's my rant. Thanks for hearing me out and I'll see you guys in my next update. Take care.